Boats are fantastic things, aren't they? When they're in the water, that's where they're meant to be, right? In the olden days, no one would have even dreamt of trying to put a boat on a horse and cart and dragging it halfway across the country. But now we have cars. People want to get their boats out of the water all the time. A boat belongs on the water, but a lot of them live on a trailer. Getting your boat from land to water can be dangerous. At best, launching your boat is a great way to start an argument. My invention attaches to the boat and to the trailer and allows you to get in and out of the water safely, on your own, without getting wet. Free the boat from the trailer so it rests only on the latch. Then set the lever to release mode and back the trailer into the water. Once on board, you gently throttle the boat forward. Immediately, the spring-loaded catch releases. To retrieve your boat, set the latch to capture, line up your boat with the trailer and just drive it on. My invention is maritime bliss. Please welcome from my Ponga, just south of Adelaide, Jeff Davis. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff James. Ahoy. <laughs> Thank you, James. What happens is it takes ages for people to get their boats on and off. There's, what do you call it? Ramp rage. Ramp rage. Yes. Most boats have an anchor. On oh, an anchor? Boing, oh. Yeah. yeah. And when when you the get... anchor, boing, oh, hit again, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, your invention is in two parts. There's this part and there's this part. And the beauty is when they come together and release. So um, we've sort of seen the release, and, and when it's released, it's left in that position. That's correct. But before you cast off, you put it in that position, and then when the boat comes ashore, well, tell us what happens. You steer it in, bring it in, tide. Oh, look, strong tide. Bang! It just goes in like that. And whereas normally you'd be stuffing around for ages, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, yes. But We're, bang, just like that. You're connected. Fingers all are all right. Of, just like a marriage, isn't it? It's just like a marriage, only it is a lot quicker. Um, come across. <laughs> come across. And there's no offspring. Um, come across and sit down. What do they cost? Three ninety nine retail. Okay, and I know you've sold a few, which is fantastic. Mark, what do you think? Uh, Jeff, this looks great. If I'm not the most confident sailor in the world... How careful am I going to have to be as I'm driving my boat up onto the latch that I don't either crush the latch or I crush my boat? You won't crush the latch uh, without putting the boat in the back of your car. <laughs> so, All right. You know, the, the, post is, the winch post is there to stop you, the rollers, and that's the design and the safety factor. But you might miss or not? Yeah, exactly. No, no. No? No. You shouldn't. You shouldn't miss. No, the, we supply the, the unit with a uh, set of instructions and everything in how to fit, set it up, how to set it up the trailer, make sure the trailer is set up. So if I set this all up right, you're saying it's dead simple? About three, I'd, I'd suggest to you, say about three tries down the boat ramp and to get your level of where the trailer needs to be in the water. Right. Uh, and from, you know, from, okay. for Mark, maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know him better than I do, so. Yeah. Now, how durable is it? How durable? How, how durable? Adorable, it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but will it last? Will, yes. will my relationship with it last? Yes. Um, the, the manufacturer of it is all out of 316 uh, marine grade stainless steel. That is all certified steel. Um, it is all cold bent, which means that the molecular structure is still the same as the technical side of things. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Jeff, I was the one who had to stand in the water with my dad's boat, so yep. I really like this invention. When you re when you're actually releasing the boat, I'm, I'm interested in what happens. Is there a chance that you could actually hit the water and the boat gets released by accident? It's from the possible. Lunch? It's possible, but again, it's it's the the knowledge factor and the use of it is always an idiot factor with all these things. Although in, a, in that situation where the two things lock together, you've got round about a tonne on, a, on mm, an average true. sized boat holding that in there. Like if a marriage. You, <laughs> if you, if yeah, you, you put it in the water, put it in the water, too, too quickly, yes, it can bump the boat up yeah. and then that will release the latch. Vina. Jeff, what type of tests have you done on your boat latch? I mean, you've got some results that you can assure people that this is going to work well? Yes, all, all of the, uh, we have them on boats from about four metres through to nine metres or 
you know, 12 feet through to uh, 30 feet, uh, and they're on contractors' boats, on professional fishing boats. We've got them on police boats, uh, sea rescue. Oh. Yeah, the the strength of the thing and the winch, for mm -hmm. instance, on on that little boat there, is about 850 kilos. Um, and we test them out at about somewhere between four and a half and six tonnes. Mm. Summing up, Mark? Jeff, you've taken the really finicky and dangerous part of putting your boat in the water and you've taken that away. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> I, I can just see my dad becoming an expert at getting that perfectly aligned. Yeah. So, and a really good solution to a tricky mechanical challenge. Peter? Jeff, it's really great to see when someone recognises, you know, safety-related challenges and actually gets on with it and does something about it. So that's absolutely fantastic. You've made it a whole lot safer. Thank like you very much. It's like a marriage. Please thank Jeff. <laughs> Good luck, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.